a shalom which means peace unto you before i start this lesson i would like to give all praises to the most high god of israel the god of abraham isaac and jacob whose true name is yahweh and the true name of his only begotten son by whom salvation comes is yahweh shai these are the true names in the paleo hebrew the ancient hebrew as written in the original scripts of the bible i'd like to give my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to my fellow laborers, the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shall I warm also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yara Yala, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson on on the on the presidential elections that are going to be holding and coming up in Nigeria. And first of all, I would like to say the so-called Nigerians, the majority of them are the true sons of Israel. Okay? These are the lost sons of Israel because in 70 AD the Romans, who are the so-called white men in power today, they chased them out of their land, which is Israel. Okay? They besieged their city, killed a lot of people. And those who fled, majority of them fled down to West Africa. That's how they found themselves in Nigeria today. And the original owners of the land are the Hamites. Okay? The so-called Egyptians, the, the Fulanis. And these people, these are the real original owners of the land. That's why they always have a powerful old and powerful positions in all the countries of Africa. Now, in order for you to get more understanding of this, I've done various lessons on my channel. Just, just scroll through. You would see um, the history of Nigeria. You see all these lessons, you know. But I just wanted to speak on the election that's about to take place in Nigeria. And all the wickedness that's going on and how foolish the so-called nigerians are really you know the bible also speaks about his people you know the sons of israel one of their characteristics is being foolish man you know it's in the book of jeremiah 6. no it's jeremiah 4 excuse me this is the book of jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 he says for my people is foolish they have not known me. The sons of Israel are foolish. They don't know the Most High, you know. They don't know his true name. They don't know the true name of his only begotten son. All they know is the, are the names that the so-called white man who actually carried them into, into captivity, the names he has given them. How do you think the man that took you into captivity, that tried to destroy you, destroy your heritage, is going to give you that name that's going to save you. Now think for a moment. Use your damn brain. And excuse my Italian if I'm being a little ash on this. Because you know, it, it, it gets you hungry sometimes. You know, how foolish the sons of Israel can be. Because they, they have this tendency of, of loving their oppressors. You know, the so-called white man has done nothing but havoc. You know, ever since. But they respect him more. They love him more. They look up to him more. They believe him more than the true sons of Israel, your own brethren, who are the Israelites. And this is the nature of the sons of Israel. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. And truly, they don't know the Most High because they call his son's name um, with the Renaissance name, Jesus. Jesus is a Renaissance name. Jesus means nothing, man. The name Jesus cannot save you. It's the white man's um, creation. Now, the first ship that came down to West Africa to carry away our forefathers to the Americas as slaves was called Jesus of Lubeck. Okay? This is all the invention of the white man. Plus, our savior is a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah. And he has a Hebrew Israelite name, not a Greek name. The name Jesus is a Greek name. It's of a Greek origin. And I've done various lessons on this name as well you can go check the channel so for those who are new to this channel watching for the first time 
there are lots of informations on this page you know if you're really interested in learning this truth which got because this truth is not for everybody as the bible says many are called but few are chosen so if you're willing to learn if the spirit directs you to learn you can go to the channel and watch the previous videos i also have different playlists and i don't really care about visualizations or, or subscribers i don't care about that just like the, the the elders the apostles that i learned from from they don't care about visualizations they don't care about followers and all that thing all we care about is pushing the truth because this is what we were commanded to do if you like you receive it if you like you don't receive it it's not it's not our business man we're just doing our duty of putting the truth out there so don't think we, we, i'm saying all this because i need followers or, 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 or subscription i don't really care about all that you know so it says for my people is foolish they have not known me they are sottish now the word sottish if you go into it it tells you fool foolish okay it says they are sottish children and they have known understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge this is the nature of the so-called sons of israel who are this the so-called native americans the latinos and the negroes these are the sons of israel for the major part then you have israelites spread around the four corners of the earth looking like different nations where they find themselves now going back to the major topic the people of nigeria are really fools man they're foolish they don't know they are left to their right because i was surfing the the instagram yesterday and i was just you know seeing all different kinds of informations coming up on this election thing and you see the youth they're standing for their for their candidates you know people are really serious about this election they're making sure they want the, the best president to make nigeria look like america they finally want america in nigeria you know and this is the foolishness of the people and they don't know that they would never get that america in nigeria you're only going to dream about it you will never get nigeria looking like america okay america is also a mess you know if you just check out certain videos and check out certain parts of america america is a pure mess you know they have ghettos where you know people are sleeping on the streets you know things are looking really crazy man what's that nigeria but this is it you know america is the role model this is, america is the way to go uh people wants to always be like america because america is is babylon the great that's being spoken of in the bible and america is ruling the earth today america is that war that sits on top many waters that is america for you you know they've gotten the war people drunk with their philosophies you know nigerians are also into the alphabet thing you know that man and man thing that woman sleeping with woman and that man sleeping with man man trying to become a woman and all that thing now it's getting rampant in nigeria you know now going back to the to the major thing that we're speaking about are you people there is a question i want to ask are you people forgetting what our savior told you our savior yahweh shai okay the one you ignorantly calls jesus yeshua christ and all that mad names his true name is yahweh shai are you quickly forgetting what he told us to do he said pray for my kingdom to come if you really love the most i as you claim to be you are going to pray for his kingdom to come because wickedness has superseded righteousness in this kingdom that we're living right now everything is upside down if you're in the right spirit you would pray for the kingdom of heaven to come so that this wickedness can go away and righteousness can reign but no our people are trying to look for their sort of heaven inside this madness you know they're making all different kinds of comedy skits that heaven is boring and all that thing all because they lack understanding they don't know what's the meaning of heaven they don't know what's the meaning of hell they think hell is a is a, is a place a literal place where you're born forever they don't have no understanding just like we read they're looking for a new 
president out of this uh, recycled dogs man i'll call them dogs man you know because these men they are all devils because they do the will of the devil they are all part of the cabal and the plan none of these people that you have as candidates can save you out of the mess that you're in and this is what people don't still understand you need to put your full trust in the most high yahweh in the name of his only begotten son yahweh shai to save you from this hell that you're living in none of these men can do that you know and this is just it man it's all a recycle man people are really serious about voting in all oh, this year we want ob we want this we want showere we want we want atiku the same old thieves and devils now what you people don't understand is in order to for you to be a part of all this thing you know in order for you there is a cabal behind this thing there is a fraternity that you have to join in order for you to rule a nation today because the main rulers of this world as you see are the so-called white men the banking families they rule every damn country it doesn't matter any country you find yourself these people have their hands and everything most especially the rulership there are confraternities in which you need to be a part of these confraternities and do according to what they want you to do the precedents the the, the 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 options that they give you they are all part of this cabal you know and they are all actors man hypocrites the word hypocrite goes into actor you know they are all actors playing their parts trying to give you a, a kind of um a, an illusion this is an illusion man you know now remember the book of first maccabees i'm not going to bring it out how he speaks about wicked men going out of horse and you know putting themselves into service to the hidden remember about that remember the second book of um of kings the 28th chapter you know speaking on how um the egyptians you know they, they took over our people and put um what do you call it a puppet president to rule over our people bringing doing all different kinds of wickedness you know nothing has changed today it's the same old thing the wicked are actually the ones ruling this is the book of job 9 24 very famous chapter we always bring out you know it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked it covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he the so-called white man has his excuse me i just had a call i just cut the video but anyway as i was saying you know the wise one are going to pray for the kingdom of heaven to come because this kingdom as we read as we're living right now is given into the hands of the wicked and the only one that can save you from their hands is yahweh shai the son of the living god yahweh now all these men they're only going to give you vain promises like they have always done you see this man right here is the fucking damn criminal now permit my italian okay these are harsh words you know don't 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 go crazy real quick for 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 for, for what i'm saying you know but get the message i'm trying to push to you all these men are being recycled man they are all part of a cabal you know of fraternity in which you know they all do the will of the devil it doesn't matter what they tell you so that they come with all different kinds of of speeches sweet speeches you know in order to love the people and our people love it so because they are foolish okay and let's get some scriptures this is the book of proverbs chapter 28 and verse 16 it says the prince that wanted understanding is also a great the prince that wanted understanding is also a great oppressor now let's look at the meaning of that word wanted you know it says lacking lacking destitute in need of lacking so you see of the prince let's put it in other words it says the prince that lacketh understanding is also a great oppressor now what is understanding understanding is the judgment of the most high yahweh shem Shai. okay remember um king david says through thy precepts i get understanding let's get that real quick
this is the book of psalm 119 verse 104 it says through thy precepts i get understanding therefore i ate every false way and what are the precepts the words of the most high yahabah shemi al shai you see you get understanding only through these words of the most high yahabah shemi al shai now the people are really foolish because they think there are only 10 commandments in the bible in which there are 613 commandments in the bible the book is a book of law it govern it tells you how to rule the people it gives you a perfect law now if this world that we're living right now goes by the laws of the bible man there will be no man on the face of the earth's suffering man there will be no madness as we see today there will be peace and harmony there will be there will be real real um what do you call it prosperity man you know because the bible has all the perfect laws that we need now you see these people they don't go by the laws of the most high yahweh shimei shai they go by the laws of the so-called devils that are in power the so-called white man you know in which they camouflage their laws calling it democracy now if you break the word democracy the word crazy means rule demon it means the rule of demons man and we've done various lessons you can go to the channel and check out you know the powers that be they don't worship the uh, the god of the bible they worship satan let's put it straight and direct you know but our people are foolish the sons of israel are foolish man because me surfing on on on, on the internet yesterday and seeing my people even those that you think that maybe they have some sense these people are really foolish man they don't seek the kingdom of heaven to come they want the so-called white man to keep ruling for eternity they don't want to be saved from this place you know because they lack understanding they all go after fables and myths of men so he says the prince that wanted that lacketh understanding is also a great oppressor so all these men that you see right here they are all dumb oppressors because they are instruments in the hands of the devils you know they lack understanding because they don't go by the understanding of the bible they go by the understanding of the so-called white man that gives them the position where they find themselves today the book of isaiah chapter 9 also verse 16 right here it says for the leaders of these people cause them to err and did are led of them are destroyed the leaders of these people cause them to err if you go into the word err if you don't understand it says to stray astray to deceive to dissemble to err to wander go astray to stagger you see of intoxication of sin of sin so you see your leaders they make you sin they make you intoxicated they make you mad man you stagger you know you're, you're not drunk of wine but you stagger like a drunk man because you're mad man that's pure madness man this is what your leaders cause you to do you know and they that are led of them are destroyed so all you people that are following this these so-called leaders that are believing that oh uh, let's vote for this let's vote for that let's vote for that uh, damn no we don't vote for anybody we vote for the kingdom the kingdom of heaven we vote for our savior yahweh shai the true sons of the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shai don't vote for no damn person man we vote for the kingdom to come we vote for our savior yahweh shai that's our perfect candidate you know we don't vote for no damn devils you know so all of you that are following them you are all going to be destroyed man you know you are all going to be destroyed don't be deceived the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai is not mocked whatever you reap that's what you sow and whatever you sow that's what you reap excuse me you know now let's go to the book of always isaiah chapter 28 I'll just bring out some quick precepts and i'll close this lesson you know this is just a, a rant man you know this is this i'm really angry you know by what i'm saying how foolish the sons of israel can be man extremely foolish 
this is the book of isaiah chapter 28 it says wherefore hear the word of yahweh basham yahushai ye scornful men that rule this people which is in jerusalem now jerusalem is a people before it's a place always remember that you know so ye scornful men all these leaders they're all scornful men man you know let's go into the word scornful say latson it means bragging Woo! scorning bragging let me see if i can get the definition it says contempt disparage a feeling an expression of contempt or disdain for someone or something Woo! and this word bragging is powerful man It says boast excessively proud and boastful talks about one's achievement or possession and that's exactly what these devils are all doing you know they all brag when i was a governor i did this you know do you know who i am these men be walking around with 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 different kinds of um bodyguards man doing all kinds of wickedness this man has bullion vans bringing money to him man these, these men, they've stolen a lot of money Why people are dying of starvation in the country. All these men, none of them, and those that are not here, all them damn candidates, they are not for your good, man. You know? He says, Wherefore hear the word of Yahaba Shemya Oshai, ye scornful, bragging, you know? Fucking boastful men that rule these people which is in Jerusalem. All you bastards that are ruling us man because these men are bastards actually you know these dumb devils that have been ruling uh, uh, the people of israel they are all bastards now check out what it says it says because ye have said we have made a covenant with death now these men that you see they all made a covenant with the so-called white man they cannot be in the position where they are today if they have no covenant with esau the so-called white man in power okay and esau represents death man it says uh, esau is the man of sin and remember the wages of sin is what death death so he says because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement you know these people they know the covenants that they've made you know they don't really care that's why they don't care about the people it doesn't matter if people die if people protest they send these soldiers out there to just shoot you dead you know they don't give a damn man because they know the price that they've paid to be in the power to be in positions where they find themselves and all you celebrities all you damn celebrities in nigeria you know misleading the people you know pushing the people to do all this evil to choose the candidates to vote to do all this wickedness the most high yahaba shemi Shai is going to destroy every one of you it says, because we have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell, are we at agreement? When the overflowing scud shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Now, these people, they have their perfect, um, what do you call it, protection from the so-called white man Esau Edom in power. That's why they can, they can cause a lot of atrocities, you know, genocides or different kinds of wickedness looting heavy amounts of money that can change um that can change a nation in a twinkle of an eye you know doing all this kind of wickedness but they never get judged why because they have their protection from the big brother esau edom the so-called white man in power you know this is what the scripture is saying go read this scripture again because it's very very important you read the scripture that's the situation with these dumb devils that you see right here these are israelites and they are devils some of them are even hamites you know now now let's move to the book of um jeremiah <clears throat> book of jeremiah 5 and 31 it says the prophets prophesy falsely and the priest bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so and what will you do in the end thereof you know now prophets represent um um what do you call it um messengers you know these devils right here they're messengers 
of Esau Edom. Okay? They are messengers. And when they speak to you, they say, when I when I get into the word prophesy means um to say things before they happen, you know? So you can tell lies of the future and they wouldn't happen. That's a false prophet, you know? These men are all false prophets right here because they tell you, oh, if you vote for me, when I come in, uh, uh, food is going to be free, school is going to be free, this is going to be free, blah, blah, blah. And the time, by the time they leave power, things are way worse than it was at the initial, initial stage when they got into power. These are false prophets, man. And you see, our people love it to be so. Our people love it to be so. Because our people, what's their situation? They are foolish, sottish. They have no damn understanding. They don't even know who they are. They call themselves Nigeria. The Nigerians, they don't know, they don't know the history of Nigeria. How a drunk, a drunk um or prostitute, the wife of um Lugard, I believe, named that place Nigger Area. Nigger area. Because back then they called blacks nigger. Okay? Nigger area and he put the name together and he turns it to Nigeria. Okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be a Nigerian. I'm oh, shut your damn mouth up, man. Because our people are foolish. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 4. It says, And I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. Now, men that have no understanding, men that don't even know what life is all about. Stupid kind of human beings are the ones ruling over them. Tyrants. This man right here is a big tyrant. Just all of them. They're all dumb tyrants, man. You know? These are the men that rule over our people. And our people love it to be so. Verse 12, it says, As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. So you see... According to we, the sons of the sons of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, who has opened our eyes to this truth, what do we what do we expect? We don't we're not expecting any fucking four years new reign of any dumb devil, any fucking bastard. Oh, excuse my my English, excuse my Italian, okay, my cost my harsh words, excuse these harsh words, okay? And these words are not sane, man. It's only harsh words. You need to wake up from the, the from from the madness that the, the the Christianity has put into you because Christianity is a damn toxic poison that keeps you in a dark cage. It's part of the instruments that they use to tie you down that makes you foolish. Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and all them dumb religions that you find yourselves these are all part of the chains they use. Okay, is a part of the chains that they use. Okay, now I was trying to bring out a precept, but I don't remember the precept anymore. It skipped my mind. So anyway, this is what it is, you know. I just wanted to, you know, bring out this situation. Oh, can Kalala Yabashem Yaw Shabashem Dash. This is what we we are actually expecting, you know. We don't expect any damn um we don't expect any damn um any damn rulership or or, or whatever. Um, um, excuse me, oh Bible, New you know, Heaven. I know it's in the book of First or Second Peter. Okay, this is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 13. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. You now, this is this is the mindset of a true believer you know we don't expect any damn rule three four years of another um, sold out president you know that's going to tell you all lies and vain promises and when he's going to leave um office he's going to leave it worse than than when he got into it you know but we we are looking for a new rulership a new heaven where our our candidate our choice vote is for yahweh shai the son of the most high to come and redeem us from this wickedness that's here we are praying for his kingdom to come. This is the prayer that you're meant to pray if you're in your right mind. Okay? Voting these devils in is a sin. Okay? Because you're not you're praying against the will of the Most High. The Most High says you should pray for his kingdom to come. This is where your vote is supposed to go into. 
okay? And not for them them devils that are instruments in the hands of the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. And this lesson could be a stumbling block to certain of you because, you know, I used a lot of harsh words in this lesson. You know, I'm just really, this, 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 this is, this is uh, um, uh, an emotional kind of lesson for me because, you know, um, I have a heavy spirit on me today, man, you know. But those who are ordained to receive this truth are going to receive it as written. Many are called, few are chosen, you know. The book of um, Romans um, chapter 11, verse 7, which I've been bringing out lately through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai. It says, what then Israel had obtained that which it seeketh for. And what does, we do, what does Israel seek for? The truth. It says, um, at not each Israel obtain that which he seeketh for, he said, but the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded. You know, if you're part of the elect, this truth, you're going to receive it. It's going to come to you straight up and clean, you know. But if you're, if you're, if you're a devil in which the Most High has ordained you for destruction that's about to come, because everything you see is going to be, is going to, all going to be destroyed, you know. If you're a devil, this lesson is going to be a stumbling block to you. Having said this, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharu Kakudash. My double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. These are the men that taught me this truth. On to the next one. Shalom.